And the content of your rap, so is it is it actual like gangster rap where you're sort of glorifying that life of crime, or is it something else? Um, without getting into the like finer details of it, it, it we, you would view it as gangster rap where I'm glorifying crime, a rap about nothing other than crime and murders and stuff like that. Um, so I guess, yeah, I know a person will see it as, I, I see it as more a horrorcore rap um, where it's not really gangster rap. I've never been a gangster, never been in a gang and I don't know that life. It's more just vicious, brutal rap. I'll smash your head in, I'll stab you, you're a gronk, I'm the best in the world, I'm so good. You're, you're just normal rap behaviour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I'm definitely but, not no feel-good rapper. It's not a feel-good. It's no, not, it's not, not at like. All. Christianize no, or no, sort there's of no positivity uh, in my rap at yeah. all. But, but it's but it's nonetheless resonates with your audience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And is your personality side of the thing, business and your success greater or bigger, much bigger than say the content, the rap piece? Oh, the rap piece wouldn't even be three percent. Yeah. Yeah. Way, way, way bigger. So what did you think when you thought to yourself, hang on a minute, like uh you discovered this thing that people more interested in my story and maybe who I am and all that type of stuff than they are in my um, my content, my rap. Mm. Well, I s- spun out at first. Yeah. It was a little bit annoying at first because I'd been set uh, by my mates, like, rap raps everything. So I was like, you know what I mean? Like, watch my rap songs, you idiots. Sydney, you listen to me talk. Yeah. You love me so much. Go give me views on my, on my songs. But then I loved it because, like, I just couldn't be me. And just have great success because of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, from just, being me, like it's yeah, just the best. So that's that's the thing that's a, a, a freak out. Like uh, yeah. you're sitting there thinking, I'm just doing what I, I'm just talking about like, myself. You know how everyone, like, think of this. You know how everyone says, what's your dream job? Oh, I want to be the bloke on getaway that flies around the world. Oh, I want to be the bloke that just sits back and runs multiple businesses. Imagine your job was just being yourself. Like imagine that. Like that's my job, just be myself. And what do you want to see me do now? You want to see me do car reviews? I've done a season of them. They're coming out soon. Just thrashing around Lamborghinis and McLarens around racetracks. Like just being myself. And the whole thing of the show is just my reactions and how great I am doing it. But I'm just being myself. Like this is the 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 mannerisms and, and, and the ways I've got from the streets where I grew up mixed with a bit of like, you know, my own spin on it, you know. So is, it, so is there no performance? So in other words. No, none at all. I'm 100% myself. Yeah. It's, every single thing. It's, it's no stage, I'm not called fake, but yeah. there's no performance in it. Like you're not. Not at all. You're sort of lifting it to make it a little bit more interesting or putting a bit of. Not something. at all. It, there is not a single thing that I go in with. Most of the things I go in with no knowledge. Like uh, even for this podcast that you sent f- to my managers, like a, a general list of things, I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't look with- at them. There's nothing that you can tell me that I is going to like, I need to have a think about before I answer. There's nothing. So like, I don't even, even my own podcast, when I run them, they, I have people that like, you know, like you'd have the, the intro and all the questions and points. It's like, wow. If it's something really difficult, like don't get me wrong. So coming up, I've got like a China expert and stuff like that. It's, it's very acquired knowledge. Yeah. I'll think like, all right, I need to ask this stuff. But other than that, like something like this is, it's just ourselves. Well, don't get me wrong, but uh, our producer who's sitting over there on our right, yep. she does the same things, but I never fucking read her yeah. stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, especially for today, um, yeah. I just, the only thing I looked up the thing, the, uh, I looked up on the brief today was uh, see if I need to know your first name. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. So that I was good with that. I'm sort of living the same life, to be honest. When I think of when you said it, to, when you said it, it made me think about my life. Yeah. I'm doing what I love doing, like just talking to dudes. Yeah, hectic. Yeah, like interesting people to me. Yeah. Like just interesting people. And, uh, and, and making money out of it, which is That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty, pretty, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. But, it, but but I'm much older. And it took me sixty odd years to work that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> but it, but a lot of it's a lot of it's the power of the internet and Facebook and Instagram and that sort of stuff, YouTube. Mm. But probably what's more important is um, storytelling mm-hmm. and actually having stories to tell. Yeah, and <laughs> authenticity, honesty, and what you probably are doing, why you are successful, is that. You, you know, give a shit. You, you, you're not trying to hide anything. You're telling good stories. You've got stories to tell about jail. You told a story about the first dude you met and how he yeah. told you about rap. Um, but you tell them in an authentic, uh, an honest way and then authenticity. Then you've got the platforms to sh- yeah. tell everybody, which means 
this guy is authentic. Yeah, yeah. And then add to that a little bit of you're an unusual looking character, yeah. you know, like you, you got your tats, you know, yeah, you got yeah. your, your look. You yeah. look a certain way, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's sort of, I mean, no, I'm not taking nothing away, but this is part of the performance, to yeah, be man. honest with you. Like you, you're not dressing up in a suit trying to be something different. Yeah, yeah. And part of the performance is try not to be something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to be yeah. yourself. Oh, yeah. 100%. So you're making money out of what is actually the right way to use yeah. Instagram and all those sorts of things today. I mean, that's, to me, that's, you don't have to know about how the thing gets fucking produced. Or, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's all shit. 